All right, my friends. Here's the deal. We've been having fun so far, but guess what? We still got shit to learn, okay? We got one more beautiful segment that I want to share with you, and I feel like it's appropriate because as a bunch of pretentious assholes on the internet say, we love women here. We love women, right? Right, Lindsay? Right, Lindsay? We love women here. If anybody ever says that to you unironically, just don't be friends with them. No shit. Who doesn't love women? Other, other than other women, who doesn't love women, right? Some of the best creatures I've ever met in this whole world are women, right? So in that world, you need to know as much as you can about such a wonderful thing, right? Because right, Lindsay, we love women here. We love women here. So I thought it would be fun to watch a video that has almost 12 million views. And it's all about 10 facts about the female body. Very fee- few people know about. Let's check it out. Watch your eyes, Exner. All right, y'all. So this is 10 facts about the female 10 body. 10 facts about the female body very, very few, few people, people know, know about. about. And this is brought to you by The Bright Side, right? They got 43.7 million subscribers. So either they know what they're talking about or they don't. Either way, let's see what they got. The human body is truly fascinating. Even though we've come to understand a lot about it, there's still so much more to learn. This I agree. is especially true about the female. So and outside of the grand mystery that is the female body, one thing that I like to talk about a lot is truly how much we have lost our humbility, hum- humbology, humbility uh, when it comes to knowledge. We think now because we have the internet and we can Google, we know everything. And it is the stupidest mindset to have. The only person that thinks they know everything or has nothing else to learn or we've already science has solved all the problems are people that don't know anything about science or discovery. We have no clue about so many things and so many things that we think we understand are simply theories that have not been tested yet. So just when it comes to being humble, take your humility into the next level and understand that we are constantly evolving our understanding of things. So don't think just because you have access to Google and you can read the summary of a 2000 page medical journal to form your opinion, you're just wrong, you're wrong female body it's a mystery wrapped in an enigma if you're ready yes. to find out more about the women, women and their physiology then let's get started we have been but trying to understand in. women since the dawn of women okay we understand that we will never understand you fully us men do but i can tell you we will always try we will always try don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I hit agreed. that little notification bell you so should. that you won't miss wow, any of this, our new videos was, so just give you an idea in 2018 when this came out apparently he was at like 1.4 million yeah now he's at 47 or 43.7 that's amazing good for them that's absolutely amazing number 10 their necks are more flexible have you ever noticed how women and men turn when they're called pay attention next time and you'll see that men turn their whole bodies while women just turn their heads the reason for this difference lies in the mind. Hold on a minute. Is that true? I turn my neck. I turn my neck all the time. I'm turning my neck to look over here. Now I'm turning my neck to look over here. But am I only turning my neck? Because I'm thinking about turning my neck? Do dudes typically... Oh my god, I think we do. It very well could, Exner. You may be flexing to the whole new level of flexibility that you never knew existed. Much more elastic muscle structure in the female body. I mean, we're thick. However, this does mean that ladies should be extra careful while turning their heads. According to a study from Loyola University Medical Center, women are 1.38 times more likely than men to report neck pain due to cervical degenerative disc disease. Look, Exner! We're, we're solving all the problems already. You are more prone to neck problems because you're a woman's. So you need to be careful, Exner. Take care of your neck. 
take care of your extremely flexible neck. Come on, we're learning all kinds of stuff. Look at this, we're all ready. We are already doing good, right? Exner is about to become the strongest neck person ever. I love this, let's go. This condition is a common cause for neck pain, stiffness, burning, or numbness in surrounding tissue. If this sounds familiar, Sound familiar? To you, definitely have your doctor check it out immediately. You heard him. Number nine. <laughs> Women have sensitive hearing even while sleeping. All right. You know why? Babies. I, I'm saying it right now. It's a baby thing. Of babies? Yep. Knew it. Been there, done that. A crying baby. If it's in a different room, of course. Anybody, man or woman, would be awakened by a baby guy. screaming right next Those to Those cheeks! This sensitivity is mostly to high-pitched noises, so it's not like most women are woken up by every single noise in the night, like a squirrel running up a nearby tree or a leaf anything. falling on the ground. Besides having superpower hearing at night, researchers at Australia's sleep... Now, hold on a minute. I kind of want to call some bullshit, because Lindsay, she could sleep through a rocket launch. So sensitive to what? Exactly. You know, because I would like to say I've, I've been a relatively light sleeper most of my life. And I tend to wake up, you know, ready to wah, like ready to kick some ass. And I've had more than my fair share of beautiful women's who, uh, none of them compare to Lindsay, of course. But they're, they'll sleep through anything. I just grab a titty and ain't even waking up. I, with consent, I knew them all. GP Clinic have confirmed that women are also more prone to have sleep disorders that are often associated with daytime sleepiness. This, in turn, is linked to chronic fatigue, depression, and memory problems. Oh, well, you poor you women. some, you lose some. Huh. Number eight. Interesting. One of their breasts is bigger now, than Now, everybody the other. knows this. This everybody size knows can this. either be practically invisible or pretty noticeable. But either way, there's really nothing to worry about. Exner, cover your has eyes. Absolutely Actually. symmetrical breasts. And there are a <laughs> lot of different reasons for that. Never mind. For one, it could be a difference Whoa. in the volume of breast tissue, the size or shape of well, the yeah. breast pocket. Well, yeah, I mean, that, it's a different size because it's a different size. Breast. No shit. Whatever the case, it's completely natural and normal. They're all beautiful Cupcake no matter titties. what their shape or size. Don't you think? Hold Number on. seven. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that statement? Because we all know it's just the most true statement in the history of the world. There's, there's no such thing. There's no such thing. Has a bad booby. Evan, women are more rational than men. Despite common opinion that women are more emotional and men are more rational, I don't know about otherwise. that. <laughs> Psychologist Stuart Ritchie and his team of researchers I would disagree found with that, that the statement. human brain has a much thicker cerebral cortex than the male brain does. This is the region I mean, of the brain associated. You don't judge a person by the size of their cerebral cortex, so I'm not sure why that matters. Associated with higher scores on a variety of cognitive and general. I feel like most guys' cerebral cortex is plenty big enough. Just want to put that on the record. Intelligence tests. Meanwhile, men have been found to have higher brain volumes, which plays a big role in emotions. So take that, gender stereotype. Hold on a minute, Mr. Conflating facts that don't necessarily match. So what the fuck does our big domes vol? He compared our volume size to the something that wasn't involving the volume size of the ladies. So as much as I do kind of agree that in emotional situations, a man's emotional response will be higher. I really think that it, they're not, we're not comparing the same thing here because you're not comparing Apples to apples, right? We're comparing. Are we comparing the how many times someone gets emotional? Are we comparing how emotional that person gets when they're emotional? Because I would argue that men, when they give into their emotions, it's way uh, more aggressive. It's a it's a much more aggressive feeling of that emotion because a lot of times it's more suppressed. But with women. They may not fly off to a level 50 as often as dudes, but they'll 
feel emotions more fully more often. Just a thought. Just a thought. Types. Watch Number the stream at 118. You're Women a legend. Women are more prone to having cellulite, and that isn't a bad thing. By modern I mean, they have more fat of beauty, tissue, cellulite just in general. is perceived as something that one should be ashamed of. Nah. And the fact that 98% of people with cellulite are ladies versus only 2% who are men just wow. puts even more pressure on women to look a certain way. But let's start off by getting a couple of things straight. Cellulite isn't a medical term, and it's not yeah. at all a sign of obesity it's or called weight problems. Cell you lot. Instead, hey, it's just booty. a sign of a mature Whoa. female body. According to statistics, Whoa. only one in 40 women doesn't have That's this kind a jiggle. of accumulation of fat on their upper thighs and buttocks. Yet, we still keep hearing about the wrong fat and the built-up toxins that our bodies can't cope with. In fact, fat tissue plays an important role okay. in the production of hormones, Number six, including estrogens. Okay. Gotcha. These hormones Ladies promote don't the feel development bad. and gotcha. maintenance of female characteristics in the human body. Yep. So you can imagine how important they are. Very. Extremely. Plus, the societal Booty. view of cellulite as of some kind of unsightly problem isn't even 50 years old. So should we really stress out about it when the stunning Marilyn Monroe didn't? Yeah, I don't think so either. Okay. Agreed. Number five. Is that a they get drunk. So really, I guess the fact there that they completely barely even touched on was that 98% of women have cellulite compared to 2% of men. That's wild. And it, it makes a lot of sense because women are a lot better at making fat cells than men are because fat cells are so important to childbirth. That one was stupid. That was pure, that, that had nothing to do about anything other than... Uh, like trying to tell women not to feel bad about cellulite, which is fine, but that's not what this video I feel it didn't no, it didn't match the other points up to this one That one is a really targeted like social issue be women. You're all beautiful The only thing that makes you ugly is if you're a bitch or if you're horrible Don't be either of those and you're I promise you have you have all the right in the world to claim beauty because beauty in the eyes of beholder and no matter what someone will find you beautiful. I, I just I know that uh, completely um because if you're a good person, you're beautiful. Faster than men. Pop culture bullshit science, Lindsay. You surely notice that most women have a lower no. tolerance to alcohol than their male compadres. Never would have well, knew that. This is basically due to the fact that the female body has less she water is in its four tissues foot than one. the male body. According to researchers from the University School of Medicine in Trieste, Italy, Tell me about it. This difference in water levels means that women get drunk faster because their body are less able to digest the alcohol before it reaches the bloodstream. Makes sense. Less water. Makes a lot of sense to show the uterus in such, you know, grand uh, presentation there when we're talking about, you know, drinking. Water in the tissues is also connected with the tendency of women to sweat way less than men. This can be a good, good thing. Interesting. But it's also the reason why most ladies don't tolerate the heat so well. Another study at Ireland School of Medicine and Medical Science. Hold on a minute. I just I want to make sure that Lindsay heard that last bit. Uh, the whole temperature fluctuation. Like, isn't it interesting how, at least from my perspective, I have never met a girl or a woman who could regulate their body temperature at all. If it's hot, they're super hot. If it's cold, they might as well be a popsicle. There is no like, hey, we're literally just walking from one door to the other. You don't need to put a jacket on. Just be cold for three seconds. Like, oh God, I would rather die, right? So to me, that makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Because if you don't, did they say women have more or less water? I missed if it was more or less. But essentially that does make a lot of sense based off of the water content, how much your body processes that temperature and with the liquor that just yeah that makes sense too because i mean yeah science found that because of the lower water level and therefore smaller lower, volume lower. of blood women also have 12 percent lower hemoglobin levels than men i mean that makes sense pretty interesting stuff huh yeah <laughs> number four they form stronger attachments to people we already mentioned all right Let's let's see what number six crackpot they're doing here. And how studies show that women's brains are built to be more rational, but that doesn't mean that their emotional side. 
stereotype is lacking. Nope, not saying that. Women connect with people on a much deeper level than men do. And scientifically speaking, it's because they have higher oxytocin levels. Oxytocin good old oxytocin. is the so-called love or cuddle hormone. And cuddle. it's released when you bond with someone socially. Well, I can tell you, if oxytocin is the cuddle chemical, you better hook up a tap to me. Because I could pull that shit out by the gallon. Okay, I'm a cuddle. I love to cuddle. Okay, you think I love to cuddle? You see Lindsay. I can't out-cuddle her. And that is saying something. Okay, I am the, the Usain Bolt of cuddle. I could get in. I'm a hugger like you wouldn't believe. I could hug a complete stranger and make them fall in love with me in, heart, in, the heart, in a heartbeat. Okay, so I'm just saying. If, if anybody needs the oxytocin, come to, come to Captain Cuddle over here because I got you. It promotes attachment, solidifies relationships, and eases stress. It's also responsible for creating mother-child bonds and even for breastfeeding. So if you need Top some emotional cuddle. support, call a gal pal. Well, duh. Number three, women's bodies keep changing even into their 20s. Wow. If you think that once Aww. puberty's over, no. your body is done going through major changes, then no. think again. Poor doll. Women's bodies continue to change and grow even into their 20s. That's some good news for you if you've had some crazy irresponsible teen years as far as healthy habits are concerned. Yeah. It's never too late to improve it's your never lifestyle. Never too late to as do some yoga. As it might sound. Hey, look down my shirt, healthy. everybody. <laughs> Include more bananas and almonds in your diet since they're rich in bone strengthening. And they also happen to uh, look exactly like penis and testicles. So, ladies, if I mean, here's a few other tips. If you want the Marcus tips on what you should eat, okay? I need you to eat a lot of, a lot of bananas, okay? I need you to eat a lot of peaches. Uh, definitely as many eggplants as possible, okay? Now, don't uh, cucumbers, of course. Now, the best thing about cucumbers is you want to make sure you peel them with your teeth, okay? That's the most important thing because you really got to work on that because it's just good for you. It's good for you. It's good for you, okay? So as you eat these foods to keep your ever-changing body changing, um, you just make sure that they all are phallic-shaped and encourage oral stimulation, and you will be as healthy as you possibly could be. And in calcium. That's especially useful for the ladies since women are more prone to bone health issues like osteoporosis true. later in life. That is true. Exercising is all. My theory on that, it has to do because they sacrifice their bone health to produce milk. Um, and even if no science backs that up, it would make a lot of sense because at the end of the day, you got to make that shit from something. Also a great way to strengthen your muscles and keep you mobile. But it's not only about the body. Aww. The brain changes. We too. can cut a extra. Lindsay's great at it. Your prefrontal cortex Just, keeps I'm developing those into hands, your twenties, which means that chances are you'll get better at decision making during this period. Oh, believe in yourselves, women's number two. Their brains are more intricately hardwired. I bet. Dr. Regini Verma, a professor at University of Pennsylvania, okay. together with her team of researchers, used special imaging technology to study the neural pathways in the uh, brains of 428 so cool? males and 521 females aged 8 to 22. Seems unfair. And they came to some interesting conclusions. Tell me about it. It you turns out that the left and right hemispheres in women's brains are more interconnected than those of men. This means that women are faster at Whoa, socially connecting easy. with people and get used and get to a routine mosquito bite. much easier. Sounds like the scientific Where did this explanation guy get this of footage? why men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Our brains just work differently. Number one, blonde hair is more common among Caucasian women than Caucasian men. According to a Real study blondes? published in Nature Genetics, women of European Look how happy descent she is. are twice as likely to be natural blonde compared to men. While Caucasian Whoa. men are three times more likely to have that dude definitely hair has than like women. Spanish. Uh, the cause of these trends is still unknown, but the researchers do have some theories. Hey, they think it's probably due to the fact that blonde genes present at birth are more persistent in females and usually disappear in males as they grow up. In mice studies, <laughs> the scientists also found pigment genes to be linked with stress and hormones. Again, interesting. These are all just educated guesses. As for now, experts are calling this phenomenon an intriguing mystery. Okay. Speaking of mysteries, we have a little bonus for you. Tell the me. enigma of female body language. Whether or not it's scientific fact or guesswork based on reoccurring trends, a woman's body language can say a lot about her feelings. 
Uh. For example, if a woman is interested in what her conversation partner is saying, she tends to stand with her shoulders lowered and her hands clasped together. On the contrary, arms crossed over the chest show she'd rather be elsewhere than talking to a certain person. Keeping your hands below chin level and visible so is what considered happens if attractive they're like? and polite in all kinds of situations, including social, is that business, a thing? and romantic ones. Well, our body can definitely reveal more about us than even we know, or... So the amount of... And I know I'm kind of... I'm picking apart about the stupid things, but the amount of videos that this homie used with chicks and women's just wide open, it's a lot. It's a lot. I don't know if you girls think about how often your legs open. And I mean this the nice way possible. I do. I think about how much my legs open. I try hard not to just present her to the world. But I do think, I do, here's a, here's a bonus fact. I think women are more comfortable with exposing, not visually, but not protecting their, their, we'll call it a hoo-ha, than men. I think that a big reason why a lot of men don't sit with their legs wide open all the time is because we constantly want to protect our twigs and berries. I, I mean, doesn't that make sense? But compared to ladies, like, I just, you don't see a lot of dudes on a beach, the fingers out, squatting, vagina open. It's just, it's less common. Most things that guys do have their legs closed so we can protect the boys. Being the show. So, which of these facts surprised you the most? I like that. I like that a lot. That was good.